Hi friends! Welcome back to another Sticker Sunday. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video because this is the very first uh, video in my Planner Basics series. Um, I wanted to just kind of walk you guys through like the basics of planning and if you if the whole like decorative planner thing kind of overwhelms you I hope that this video will kind of break it down um, so that it's a little bit more understandable or attainable so um, I'm going to talk you through how the happy planner system works as well as I'm going to be doing a plan with me based on only functional stickers so no decorative stickers here it's going to be kind of difficult <laughs> but you definitely don't need decorative stickers in order to make a spread really cute so I'm gonna show you that today so without further ado let's get into the plan with me So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is the planner. So I did receive this planner back in June um, in the Happy Planner subscription box that they do. And this one was the planner that came in that box. Um, I can link that video up in a card um, if you want to see when I unboxed this. Um, but I absolutely love this planner so far. It's been great. So I'm going to show you kind of how the Happy Planner works. So normally when I do my plan with me's, you guys are seeing me plan in my other planner, which is not a happy planner. Um, it's a spiral bound planner, so you can't take the pages in and out. But this is a happy planner. And so the happy planner, what makes them unique is that they go on the disc system. So the disc system basically means that it is a row of a bunch of discs. Usually they're the same color, but um, because my planner is rainbow, uh, they're rainbow discs, but these are solid discs. I don't know if you can see, but they have a heart shape in the middle. That's the Happy Planner's, like, um, trademark. And then as I turn the disc around, you see there's no opening in the disc. They are solid pieces of plastic. And how you take the pages out, it's based on the pages alone. So, um, this is the week that we're going to be planning. It's August 19th through the 25th. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how the pages come out. So you just take the page and pulling from top to bottom, you're going to pull gently and pop the page out of the discs. So you can see here what makes the Happy Planner special is actually the paper, not the discs. So the paper is cut with openings on the side that then can pull in and out of the discs really, really easily. So um, in order to plan, you can pull your pages out or you can leave them in like a normal planner. It's honestly up to you. Um, but then they're really, really simple to put back in. So you line the paper up with the discs and then I use two fingers and just push down on either side of the discs. And there you go. The paper is back in the planner. So it holds pretty well. Um, compared to like other planners, I definitely isn't going to like pull out or anything unless you want it to. Um, but for the purposes of the planner today, I'm going to go ahead and pull my pages out. And now we're going to just set the planner aside and we're going to work only with the paper. So that is something that I really, really like about the Happy Planner so that the coil or like the discs in the middle aren't in your way when you're trying to plan. You just have the flat paper on your table. So I hope that that had like gave some clarity into how the planner actually works. Um, and now I'm going to get into some of the planner basics. So I'm going to be using two main sticker books today. I'm going to be using this rainbow sticker book. Um, I absolutely love this book because you can kind of choose any color scheme that you want and this book makes it really easy to do that. So my best tip for planning a spread, if you're just kind of overwhelmed with like how to put the colors together, I recommend two to three basic colors for your spread. Um, that way it's not too overwhelming, it's not too crazy, um, and you can really put together like a nice cohesive spread. Um, so for the colors of this um, particular spread, I'm going to be using this aqua light blue color and black. 
So those are going to be my two colors. And then um, I'm also going to be using this book, which I recommend to any planners. Like if you're unsure of what book to use, I recommend Colorful Boxes. I think it is like the best sticker book for planner newbies. And as you can see, I've pretty much used like the most of this book up. Um, but today I'm going to be using the black section. So very similar to the rainbow book, this one is divided by color palettes. Um, so this makes it really easy to create colorful spreads that go together. So I'm going to be using the black section today. And then the final tip that I have as far as like picking stickers for your spread is to use a sticker sheet ahead of time. So this sheet is actually an old sticker sheet that used to have stickers on it in one of these books. Um, once I had used all the stickers off the sheet, I pulled it out of the book and then um, use it to re-stick um, stickers on to plan for my spread. So for me, pulling stickers is kind of like the longest part of the process. So usually for my plan with me's, I already um, I've done that already by the time you guys see it, but I'm kind of going to do a little bit of that today. Um, so these stickers were pulled from the Healthy Hero sticker book, um, and I've just gotten some like inspirational quotes and then some workout banner stickers over here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some more stickers to add to this, and then I will be back in just a second. Okay, so I've gone ahead and pulled out the rest of the stickers that I'm going to use in the spread today. Um, I didn't pull that many today because I'm not uh, doing a decorative spread, so it's basically just functionals. The one exception to my non-decorative rule is this Today's the Day sticker because I just really liked it. It's like inspirational and it's going to make me like really excited um, when I look at this planner spread. So this one's staying even though technically it's not a functional sticker. Okay, so now let's get into planning. So the first thing that I wanted to go over in this spread is actually how to lay out your planner. So if um, you don't know about different kinds of planners, odds are um, if you select your first planner, it's going to be a vertical, which is like this. So it's three rectangles put one on top of the other um, in this formation. Now there are other kinds of planners. There are horizontals, there are um, hourlies, there are different uh, forms, but this is most likely um, the, like the classic planner layout. So there are a few different ways you can lay this out. You can do it um, by time of day. So you could do this row as morning, this as afternoon, and this as evening um, slash night. You could do it as um, home, work, um, kids if you want to do it like that. Um, for me, I don't really do it as in like specific columns for different purposes. I kind of just go all over. <laughs> I feel like it looks the best for me. Um, I like kind of being sporadic with how I lay everything out and I think in the end to me it just looks a little bit more balanced. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing today. So there are different ways that you can lay this out and it all just depends on what your needs are in your planner. So I'm going to start out by laying in my full boxes. So a full box is going to be these stickers right here. So it's the long rectangle boxes that are exactly the same size as your um, rectangles in your planner. So I think I'm going to use two of them today. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them off of the page and stick them down. So once I've got those down, um, the next thing that I like to do is move on to my checklists. So there are a few different ways you can make checklists. The first one is by using a checklist sticker. <laughs> now these come in a lot of different um, forms and ways. So the first way is by using a checklist. Um, they don't always look like this, but the ones in this book do. So you can use a checklist sticker or you can use bullet points or asterisks 
um, to make a checklist. I've done both in the past. I like using both. Um, for this spread, I'm actually going to do a balance of the two so that it doesn't look too heavy or too crazy, but it just kind of all balances out a little bit. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and put down all of my checklists um, into the spread. So now you can see kind of the difference in the look between the pre-made checklists and then using asterisks. I kind of like using a mix of both because to me, these seem really thick and like, I don't know, almost heavy in a way. And then the asterisks are very like light and airy, so I think they balance each other really well. But again, that's totally up to you, like how you want to space that out. Um, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my headers. So these uh, stickers right here are called headers. So they're basically those skinny little stickers that go on the top of checklists or boxes. So what you could do, um, let me see if I can peel one of these up just to show you guys. So what you could do is lay down a header on the top of your box. So this one says priority. And then I would lay my checklist down underneath that. And that way it fills up the complete box. So if you notice that like these checklists over here don't quite reach the bottom of the box, that's why, because they're meant to have a header on top and then the list on the bottom and that completes the box. So another thing you can do with headers is you can use them to separate um, a box like this and you can turn like a big box into two smaller boxes. Um, I'm not gonna do that today, but just to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in with all of the stickers that I have pre-pulled to put into this spread.
so I've got the main part of the spread pretty much done for this week. Um, so as you can see, I have added a few decorative stickers. I really just couldn't help myself. Um, like this one, I um, already told you was going to be in the spread. And then these little circles, I just needed something to kind of fill up the rest of that box. Um, so yeah, little things like that uh, that you can put in to kind of help just balance the look a little bit. So now the last thing I'm gonna do for today's video is I'm gonna work on the sidebar. So this is something really nice that the Happy Planner puts into their pages that are not in my other planner, is that they actually give you a sidebar for notes. So depending on what you use your planner for, you could just leave this as is um, and put you know actual notes for the week there, things that you wanna remember, maybe memories of the week. Um, or whatever you really want to use that for. For me, I'm going to fill it up a little bit differently and I'll show you kind of how I do that. But for me, there are basically three things that I want to put in my sidebar. There are errands I need to run, goals that I want to achieve, and then a place for to-do lists or notes. So that is what I'm going to do in the sidebar and I will show you. So the first sticker that I absolutely love using from the rainbow book, this is still from that same rainbow book, is this Aaron's half box. So as you can see, it's like scripted, uh, the word Aaron's with gold lettering. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that on top of where it says notes because now I know it's crooked. <laughs> It's also very hard to put stickers down straight on camera. I'm not, I don't normally struggle this much, but um, on camera it's really difficult. Sometimes you just gotta try, try again. There we go. Okay, so once I've got that down, then I'm going to put another header. So I have a header that says goals. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that down in line with the Aaron's sticker. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today, I normally would put asterisks here, kind of like I did right here, but because I have the asterisks here, I don't wanna put another set right here. So I'm gonna get a little bit different, and I'm actually gonna put down these little quarter box arrows down underneath the goals, um, and then each goal I will write on one of these arrows. So I usually will give myself like two or three goals to do for the week. So I'll go ahead and put all of those down. Okay, so then the third and final section down here is for a to-do list or for whatever else I need to put there. So for today specifically, I'm just going to put this blue to-do box and I usually will put it down here. All right, so this is the finished spread for this week. I hope that you liked it, and I hope that you learned something new from this video. Um, I am not in any way a planner expert, um, but I've just been doing this for a little while, and so I wanted to share maybe some tips that might help you um, if you're new to your planning journey. So for the Happy Planner, we will go ahead and bring our planner back over put our pages back in. And there you go. So I hope that you enjoyed this plan with me. If you found it helpful or you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel if you wanna see more planner or Disney related content. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.